Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and in this video, we are going to cover about the API testing interview question and answer, especially for the people who have two to three years of experience. All right. First of all, we will cover very important topic, which is expectation from a QA. Uh, what, uh, what are the concepts like for concepts for the API testing that you should know? And we will basically cover the five question in the part one of the series. And if you like it, if you, uh, if you are interested in watching the part two, let me know in the comment after this, right? We will, and I will create the part two also. All right. So let's get started and let's start the video. Awesome guys. So first of all, this is how we gonna cover the video. We will basically go through the expectations. What are the expectations that uh, two to three years experience and what are the topics that you should know in API testing, right? And uh, first of all, disclaimer to you, all of you guys, please make sure you watch this video in 1.5x because that will, will give you a better understanding and you will cover the most of the topics because, in, because these five questions are a little lengthy and you will cover most of them and Trust me, these are the very important questions which generally I ask also in the interview. All right. So make sure you do that. And so let's get started. First of all, let's cover the expectation from the uh, two to three years experience. Okay. So first of all, uh, there, there are three parts where you need to pay attention, right? So what are the three important parts? Okay. The first, first part basically talks about the knowledge of an API testing, right? What exactly we, what do you mean by this promote and this, uh, it basically means, uh, whenever Whenever we do API testing, right? So API testing, it's very similar to the testing that you do for a particular functional project. For example, a web project or a mobile project. This is where it is interesting. Where in API project also, you will you are going to create the test plan. You're going to create the test cases also. You will have your test scenarios and you will report bug and you will do the execution also. So whenever I ask this question, right? Okay, guys, let me know how will you basically do the API testing? Make sure you are giving that, okay, we will design the test cases. We know the concepts like what are the different types of API testing exist smoke and testing and we know how to write the manual test cases of the api also so this is very very important uh, thing so make sure you know that this these are like expectation guys these are not exactly if you don't know this then these are actually expected so make sure you are aware of these topics and prepare well on this okay let me make it a little smaller on this okay all right so now question arises okay Pramod, let me know how to basically create api testing manual api testing for this uh this uh, APIs, right? So in this video, I have already, I have, I have already shared, shared this thing where I have basically, to basically have a live example where uh, in the, for a GitHub APIs, how to create manual API test cases. And we basically have gone through the CRUD operations. Let me show you, right? All right. So you will find these links in the description where I have basically given API testing scenario for the GitHub repo API how you can write them properly okay so what are the expected thing what are the expectation actual result and there is a postman code also that i have designed and uh, i have given a test case test case template also which you can use for writing your api test cases as well as your manual test cases so both of them are present so you can basically copy paste and use these ready-made templates to write your api test case okay so this is where the expectation lies that you should know the manual api test case at least and of course knowledge of the tools is really really important where where you should know the manual manual testing using api you should know how to write the scripts this is like your expectations so we are going to cover questions also just i'm giving you the what are the expectations right now okay pay attention to this edge cases like how to basically do json schema validation status code release valid uh, really response validation pojo and working with the objects also this is actually important and data driven testing by using csv and excel that you should know uh, you should have at least a basic uh, so now after two years or three years right you people will have start having the expectation in automation that in api automation you should know how to run your test cases programming language that's a short basics edit you should know and you can write some of the cases this is like expectation but there are two expectations from the manual side and so second one is from the automation side so if from manual Manual side, you should know test case creation, execution, uh, working with Postman, writing scripts, and where the automation side, you should know the API, uh, rest assured basics, programming language, at least a Java, so that you can write some of the test cases in their framework. So this is like expectations, okay? And uh, knowledge of the known functional uh, things also like security testing, performance API, and localization testing, which is like a plus point. I mean, these are optional, but you should know at least. So these are the expectations. And another interesting thing is basically you can discuss about the project that you have done so it is very important so if you have you will have a plus point see here uh, 
So you will have a plus point if you basically have done some API automation related project. And if you have done some manual testing related project, then you have a plus point also. And if you have shared that, okay, I have basically worked on some of the API project in my previous, then it's a really, really interesting as well as a very important plus point. So make sure you include that. Okay. So these are the expectation. Uh, I hope this is clear now that uh, from a, any two to three years experience, you should have it. Okay. Now let's jump into the questions. Okay. One by one. So first question is basically how do you test your APIs? Okay. Here, what you need to tell them is basically uh, here the answer is not very simple. Actually, whenever they ask you that, okay, what are the, how basically you will test this? Uh, we have a CRUD operation. We have a, this documentation of an API. How will you test it? Okay. Here they want to know, okay, will you a bit like you will create a test plan or not? Okay. This is where they want to know you will write manual test cases or not this is where they want to know so you can tell them that we will i will create a test plan test plan template i have already given in the testing academy video so you can go through it it's a very similar to the apis also you will say that okay i have create i will create a manual test cases similar to this that i have shown you in the example description uh, links in the description you will say that uh, i basically i have worked on some of the github related project and where i have done the CRUD. so i will write it like this i will perform the functional test case by using some of the black box testing techniques this is where you can tell them and you can tell them that okay if you want to do the non-functional things like monitoring api security and all let me know and you can ask them that do you need these non-functional testings or not okay so this is where they will get impressed by this okay that you have done some of the project in the apis so this is where this is why i want to you to highlight that make sure you tell them a proper process that i will create a test plan test case bug reporting functional testing and non-functional testing and this is the template probably i'm going to use and you can showcase them what exactly they need to know okay so this is where which is helpful let's move on to the second important question which is very very important for anyone uh, right now with a two plus or three plus years which is basically uh, what is the json schema validation and what kind of things basically what are the bugs which basically we can uh, catch by using the json schema validation so i have given a very extensive example how you can do json schema validation in postman and what exactly it in this video this link is already available in this so i will link i will put a link in the description also so that you can watch it properly but i'll give you like few of the points what where json schema validation is really really helpful okay it, it is helpful to validate your response as well as request you can basically check the data types like it's a string or not for whatever the response that you're getting right for example the response that you're getting for example a is equal to your name for example name is equal to promote right so you can validate that this is a string and this key exists so pattern you can pattern match it you can you, you can basically verify your response you can pattern match your response you can basically check for duplicate and required fields you can do a validation of your structure of an api by using json schema and basically it can it, it is a hard check so hard check basically means whenever there is a fields which are duplicate or not missing and uh, if there is a pattern is not available regex is failing in the uh, particular response values then you can basically fail your test cases so it's very good to have a json schema validation to your api test cases also so this is where it is important okay let's move on to the next question i hope you're liking this video guys make sure you give it a like and subscribe between this video and write part two right now if you want the part two of this video because i'm just getting started with the two three years experience uh, i have a list of where i have a uh, so pre previous to with this video right we have created a uh, API testing interview question and answer for freshers and there was a generic also but right now this is focused it on two plus years so if you are someone who falls under it or if you, even if you have three plus years experience make sure you give it a like and just type part two and I'll definitely create part two of this okay second important thing uh, second important question is soap versus reds guys just remind just I'll just remind you this is gonna be the important question and people will ask you this question so I have told you right this we have already covered covered in the video so i'm going to put a link also uh, in the api test api testing interview question for freshers also this is for freshers also and so uh, let me give you a very simple uh, example in this uh, so that you right now remember it soap is very similar to uh, what we call it a envelope right so you basically put a message in like in an envelope you close that envelope and basically you send that envelope right but a rest is like a lightweight postcard where message is directly written so you can uh, for example a very short message which is written in your postcard you can directly send them right so soap is if you know it's a protocol where rest is basically an architectural style or you can say a design pattern for an api rest basically works on the json as well as xml so mostly works on the xml side of it 
soap has uh, his own security more secure right uh, and right now if you see rest is the everywhere right now people are using almost like 70 70% of the uh, apis that your work will write it it is on the rest apis okay rest is nothing but a design pattern for an api right make sure make sure you understand this and here is the difference that you can go through it and i will recommend you to go through it but i think the, the easiest way is just to watch this video where i have explained it properly okay all right so let's compare let's uh, basically go to the next video which is put versus pat I, i'm sure 90% of the time you will get this question which is difference between a put and a patch so if you see they are both basically they look very similar but they have a very small small difference if you do a post it will basically create a new resource but put basically replace a new resource what exactly this means is basically suppose i have a student api okay i if i want to create a new student then i will use a post method but if i have already a student which is name name is pramod i want to replace i want to basically change the last name of a pramod then i will use a put method but in put method you are sending the full payload to replace the previous pay payload okay and if there is no uh, object present for example there is no pramod ex exist it will create a new pramod object uh, or a resource in the database okay so that's where it is uh, important right so you can go through the difference uh, in this and uh, just make sure uh, enough i'll give you like enough answer whenever someone asks you post versus uh, post just tell them they are very similar but post will create post basically used to create a new resource put will basically re used to replace replace the data of a previous uh, record or resource right and if the, it doesn't exist if it will basically create a new resource okay that's the only difference in this put and put and post okay so put and patch is another next question which is generally people ask so i think i have already covered in the api testing videos okay so this video is actually going a uh, little long so let's do one thing uh, we will just quickly cover the last question also which is basically different types of bugs that you have encountered and trust me this is very important question for anyone who is watching right now so make sure you give them that okay i have basically gone through that i know uh, that invalid json response can come wrong headers can come duplicate headers can duplicate or missing api functionality failure to handle negative test cases sudden spike which is basically a known functional test case application behavior is basically abnormal whenever there is an api poor performance unimplemented error there is a flag unused flags which are coming uh, we the, it is not able to handle a proper threading error messaging status codes are wrong so there are multiple errors that you can encounter or a bug can encounter in an api so you can make sure you remind make, make sure you uh, basically have some of the uh, some of them as a handy so that you can give them whenever someone ask you that what kind of bugs that you have seen okay so this is where it is important awesome so guys uh, if you if you want part 2 just make sure you part 2 uh, type a part 2 in the comment i will be happy to help you that's all in this video where i have covered five important topics uh, of the api testing interview question and answers as well as the important expectation for a qa all right i hope uh, you have learned something new in this video this is your host pramod and make sure you type part 2 in this series so that i we, we can prepare more of the two plus years of experience api testing interview question and answers all right thanks a lot and i'll see you in the next video bye